Uh, my name is Jeffrey Spinks and I'm a professor of materials engineering and I'm also a chief investigator in the Australian Research Council Centre of Excellence in Electromaterial Science and I'm also a leader for the Manufacturing Innovation Global Challenge Program here at University of Wollongong. All those roles are sort of interrelated. Broadly speaking, I'm interested in manufacturing and what we're trying to do in a, as academic researchers is to help manufacturing industry to improve their competitiveness and uh, their productivity and so on by looking at different aspects of innovation. And the particular area that I'm in, interested in is innovations around the materials. So as a professor of materials engineering, I'm interested in developing new materials and looking for applications for those materials. And ultimately they will end up in manufactured products. So that's sort of how the interest in manufacturing and materials links together. And the special interest that I have in materials is around electromaterials. So that's my role as a chief investigator in the Centre of Excellence for Electromaterial Science. That's where my personal research interest is focused around developing electromaterials, or sometimes they're called smart materials. And these basically are materials that can change their properties when we give them some sort of stimulus like an electric pulse or something like that. Some of the projects that, that I'm involved with in terms of developing these smart materials, they focus around a particular type of smart material that I like to call artificial muscles. And these are actually materials that, that try to mimic natural muscle. Natural muscle contracts and expands and it provides the, the propulsion for us to move and manipulate things. So when we look at natural muscle, it's actually a real challenge to make a synthetic material that can match the performance of muscle. And we're trying to get some interest from, from industry partners to try and commercialise and develop them further. The work on artificial muscles, I've been fortunate to be part of quite a large team that's helping with that research. It's obviously partly based here at the University of Wollongong, but there's all these international collaborators that we've been working with for well over a decade. So we, we have close connections with the researchers at the University of Texas in Dallas, and I would consider them the, the, the most famous artificial muscle research group in the world. So we've got these long-term relationships with that group, which is fantastic. We also have strong connections with University of British Columbia in Canada, and also Hanyang University in Seoul, Korea. So along with the University of Wollongong, those universities form a core group that has been developing artificial muscle technology and really advancing the technology over the last decade or so to new levels.